All right, what is up, everybody? Blue Dog Thirty Five here. I'm searching for something unprepared yet again, as usual. Um, today uh, I'm going to show you how to. I just lost a piece off my tool that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to uh, remove and replace the uh, valve spring seals, or the, no, sorry, the valve seals, which require removing the valve spring. Uh, on a single cam Subaru EJ251 engine. Uh, this is the... Give me a moment here. Um, this is the driver's side head. <laughs> I live in the America, so... Uh, America. So this is the driver's side cylinder head. Um, I have removed the cam plate, or the, yeah, I guess cam plate that holds the camshaft on. Um, I've removed the camshaft, I've removed the rockers, uh, pretty much this thing's stripped down to nothing aside from, um, the valves. There is one missing, because I wanted to see if my valve spring tool that I recently, um, got from the Auto Zone, which I'm not really a big fan of, uh, works. Um, this one I got from Advanced Auto Parts, um, but it doesn't really work for this application because these guys, the little jaws that hook onto the spring, don't uh, they don't close tight enough. They don't they don't get you know close to each other. Um, so what I did was I got in the zone and I went to AutoZone and I rented this. As you can see, the jaws get much closer to each other. And there's actually this cool little uh, half inch or three-quarter inch drive uh, thing you can pop your little mini torque wrench or torque gun or whatever or you can I believe this is like a it's probably like a 16 mil socket or it's probably three-quarter inch something I don't have my wrenches here um, I'll tell you what it is in a second that's a 17 it fits a 17 so it's a 17 uh, 17 mil ooh, ooh, ooh. Box, wrench, box wrench which I believe is the same as a um, three quarter but I'm probably wrong because I don't really do standard it's funny I live in America but I don't do standard uh, stuff uh, another thing that this has is a nifty little thing so you can kind of like wow I cannot camera today so you can, you know, that, if you don't feel like using a wrench or a socket. So, uh, this, if I can find it, I just took it off. Here we go. Uh, this is one of the old valve seals. It's a bit marred up because I had to use 45-degree uh, needle-nose pliers. But that is one of the old ones. And uh, it's located underneath the valve spring. So in order to get to it, you got to use this guy. Um, this can be a bit finicky, and it can also be slightly dangerous. So you want to be a little careful. Um, I'll move in a second so my hands are not obscuring everything. Basically what you want to do is line this guy up so that it's pushing down on the retainer. And what you want to do is you want to get this compressed the valve spring by using the little legs here and you want to compress it enough so that you actually get the keepers and I have it set wrong so give me a moment to back it off here <clears throat> I'll probably fast forward all my failures uh, you're gonna fail a lot more than you're gonna succeed with this um, especially when you are not as practiced at something like this, uh, you know, such as myself. I have only done this once before on a Subaru engine. I've done it on a few V8s, but I've never done it on a Subaru engine. Um, there are a few other tools that work a lot better than something like this. There we go. Um, this is not one of them. I really wish I had a 17-mil uh, gear wrench. Because if I had a 17-mil gear wrench, 
then uh, this would go a lot faster and a lot easier. But I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, 17 mil wrench here. And I'm going to try to do this as best as I can with the camera to see. I believe, yep, it just kind of jumped off its perch. So hopefully this stays together long enough. And that will happen. You will have things slip off like that. I'm going to use this magnet here to get the keepers um, if I can. I may have to attempt to compress the spring a little bit more, which looks like the case. Yep, there we go. That will work now. So, grab the keepers like so. Come on. There we go. There's one. Kind of got to do a little dance with it sometimes to get it to <coughs> cooperate, you know? Life's like uh, a pain in the ass sometimes. So there we go. We have both the keepers on the end of the magnet. And then we can slowly, uh, if I can find my damn 17, we can very, very slowly while keeping pressure, uh, wow, my hand is too big, while keeping pressure down here to keep the little legs seated on the spring, uh, back off the <coughs> valve spring. These are not very fun to work with. They are full of tension, full of nerve wracking. Um, it's much safer than uh, working on like um, suspension, like a coil spring, but it's equally as much of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> so we have the keepers, and they are nestled safely, safely, safely on my magnet. I'm going to place them inside the old back seal of the cam, and then we can just kind of boop pull the old uh, or pull the valve spring off. I'm not replacing the valve spring. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of going to set it off to the side just so I know which one it came with. I would recommend if you're going to do all of them, uh, which, you know, I am, do them one at a time uh, because they can be a bit finicky and you don't want to mix up the valves, you know, you don't want to put intake in the exhaust and get everything together only to find that, you know, you, you done goofed. Uh, so now you can push the valve out from the bottom. Basically what you're going to do, you tilt the head, give the valve a push, pull it out from the bottom, and boom, there's the valve. This is an exhaust valve. So, yeah, there you go. I'm going to put this guy over here, just so I remember that I took that one out second. Um, I'm going to cut here, and uh, I'll actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to remove the old seal, which is right here. It's got a metal shroud around it. Basically, all you do, wiggle, 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 and it'll come off. Boom, like that. <clears throat> Make sure the area where it goes back on is clean. Take some, you know, take a shop rag, take whatever, clean it up a little, and then uh, get your new seal which is what I'm going to go do right now. I'll come back and I'll have it. These are the new seals. I'm not 100% sure what uh, these little like straw looking things are for. Um, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to have to um, look into it. There's three of them. so. They're made of plastic. I don't really know what they're for. So if anybody knows, uh, please enlighten me because I have no clue. There's only three of them. So uh, they can't possibly be for, you know, something, whatever. But if I encounter one when I take off the rest, um, I will be sure to replace it. So 
you're going to take the valve seal. This is a new one. And you're going to make sure it's nice and square on the head here and just kind of give it a push. Like so. Make sure it's nice and square. I know there are tools to do this, uh, but I lack such tools. Now I wonder if there's different ones for different um, intake and exhaust and stuff. Doesn't look it. Doesn't look to be different sizes. But what I am going to do is find a socket that fits over that. So this is a 10. I'm going to grab a 9. Here's my 9. And that doesn't fit over that, so the 10 will work. We will grab my rubber hammer. This is Mr. Fixit Jr. And I know you can't see, but I'm just kind of giving this a nice square tap so that it sits right where it was. I'm going to use my phone here just as a light to see if it's set and it appears to be. <clears throat> so, I'm probably going about this all wrong, but uh, I'm not incredibly worried about it. That's the 9. Uh, where did I put the 10? There it is. This is the 10. We'll grab this guy. Basically what I'm doing is I'm sticking the seal inside the socket here. Just making it nice and square. And giving it a good little tappy tappy. Because with seals like that you always want a good seat. So I'm gonna this one is for this valve here or this valve goes there so we'll do that make sure it goes up through there we go hole for the valve push it up through the seal looks good to me I know sometimes they do like this when they rebuild engines so do that a few times there's no oil in there so um, this will probably end up uh, burning a metric whack ton of oil but uh, you know this is my first real Subaru rebuild on my own so we're gonna place this guy back like so and we're gonna compress it enough to get the keepers back on doing it by hand as much as I can um, and then wherever I put the 17 which I can't remember because you know that's what happens in, when you're working on stuff you can't remember where the hell you put things two seconds ago I think I found it. Yep, I did. So, I'm sorry I'm obscuring most of the view here. Uh, but I am left handed. And it's a lot easier for me to work like that than to do something like this right handed. Alright, so the keepers, they are angled. Um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to show this. But they are kind of 
they have a taper to them. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's going to focus. I don't know if you can see that, but they have a taper to them. So you're going to want to put the smaller taper down, facing down, as I completely screw that up. But you're going to want to put the smaller taper facing down. Um, and then the longer, elongated, whatever, facing up. So now those are in. Grab your 17 and raise the roof. Come back from whence you came, make sure they're set right. Undo this guy, like so. And then Boom! That is one change valve seal right there. So we'll put this guy back and push it up through. Just give it a couple little twisties. I'm gonna grab the valve spring, <clears throat> grab the valve spring compressor tool. <clears throat> Give it some turns. Make sure the thing's set right. Only thing I don't like about these is that they slip off easy. But other than that, they are uh, very good tools. They do what they say, and they do it fairly well. So. Give it about there. Um, I don't like taking my hands off because there's always that risk of them flying off or whatever. But it's just a valve spring. It's not a whole bunch of uh, tension. I mean, it's tension, but it's nothing like a shock absorber or nothing like a uh, a spring for um, suspension that like I said before is an absolute nightmare if one of those lets go so there's that those keepers are in we'll grab this guy we'll spin it let it go let the tension out of the valve spring about midway check it we're good feel the tension go away I can do it by hand now lift it off pull the tool out of the spring and boom Two, two done. That's for the exhaust seals for one, or the exhaust valve seals for one whole cylinder done. And only took me 19 minutes I've been recording, so this will be edited down. Uh, 20 now, sorry. This will be edited down, so uh, I just did all of those in 20 minutes. And with the right tools and even fumbling around and whatever. So um, you can't really tell that it's been done. But it has. Uh, the difficult ones are going to be over here, but because of the tool's profile, uh, because it's such a, a thin profile, I can <coughs> excuse me. I can go at it like this, and uh, it'll be all right. So yeah, that is uh, how to change the valve seals, um, valve stem, valve seals, whatever, on an EJ251 single cam. Subaru engine. It's also how to remove the uh, valve springs because I couldn't seem to find any videos on how to do that or any correct tools. Um, if you're willing to, you know, risk your hand to injury a little bit, uh, this guy works really well. They actually they have it for sale. It's like twenty something dollars at AutoZone, but right now I can't afford that, so um, I borrowed the money and I rented the tool. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you liked this video, which I hope you did, uh, please rate, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, check out the links in the description and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. Uh, say something in the comments. Blah, 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 blah. You know the rest. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.